Tyler, this is a team obviously you guys have seen before. Mm -hmm. um, have they made significant changes other than personnel since the first time you guys saw? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that. You know, schematically they've that I've seen, they haven't made anything too dramatic. Um, not any changes too, not any too much of a dramatic change, but. Um, I feel like overall their morale is a little bit better. Um, you know, they've had some success. They're kind of riding on that on that wave of their their success that they've had at the end of the season. Um, you know, but but other than that, I don't see any you know major changes. I know it's hard to get a feel for what Nick Foles might offer them emotionally, but what do you see on film from his effectiveness? Yeah, you know, obviously he's good at getting the ball out quick. Um, you know, everybody's been saying that all week. Um, he's he's a good game game manager. Um, you know, he's he's good. He's a good situational quarterback. He, uh, you know, you see him coming through on third downs. Um, you see him coming through in clutch situations at the end of the game, at the end of the half. Um, you know, he's he's a good, sound, um, you know, quarterback. So. Um, you know, with that being said, we have to be a good sound defense and, and you know, react to that the right way. Yeah. You guys obviously very good against the run, but does it put more pressure on you against the run to put them in obvious passing situations where maybe he'll have to be in some situations where the routes take a little longer to develop? I wouldn't say necessarily more pressure, but, um, you know, because stopping the run is always the first is always the first uh, step, you know, for, for the defense in general. Um, the first thing you got to do is stop the run, otherwise, you know, you're gonna have a rough day, no matter what, no matter what else they do. So um, I think that pressure remains the same, no matter what. Um, but with that being said, it, we do know that it will help us, you know, going against a, a quarterback like him. That um, you know he can go through a progression. Um, you know, on a, on a third and on a third and short, you know he's good at getting that ball out quick. So um, you know we do have to keep in the back of our mind that we need to make sure we capitalize on these. Uh, first and second downs and whatnot um, in order to, to keep their offense at bay, really. You know, stopping the run will be different this time against them because now they bring back Darren Sproles. Um, what are some of the things that he presents? I mean, he's been a scat back and he's been an elusive guy his whole career. Yeah, man, he's an, he's an elite guy at his, um, at his role. Um, you know, he's, he's real shifty. He can move. Um, he can make guys miss in the open field. And you know that's how they try to utilize them. They they, they like throwing uh, throwing them the ball. They like getting them getting them screens, um, you know draws, um, you know. So so we see that we we watch the film on it, and uh, you know we develop a plan to stop it. Tyler, what did you learn from watching what the Bears were trying to do up front defensively last week against them? Um, you know the Bears played real physical. Um, you know they they did a good job against the run. They uh, it seemed like they kept pounding and kept pounding, and um, it seemed like they had a, a good amount of success. So, um, you know our our main thing is you know we're gonna have to come out here, we're gonna have to play physical, we're gonna play fundamentally sound, and we're gonna have to do our job within the defense um, to the best of our ability. Really, that's what we saw from the Bears as well. So, um, you know. It's not necessarily anything new that we learned, just kind of a, uh, reconfirming what we already know.